Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, there's so much the Lord is sharing through us and, and bringing all this truth to you. And I know they are being a blessing to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we call for that daily bread? Are you ready? Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now I was sharing with you yesterday. We have to stop right there. Let me read the scripture I read yesterday again. And, and I was talking about how God had prescribed two things. How God prescribed that the giving of first fruit be done. That's number one. Number two, and how God takes care of his servants who minister wholeheartedly to him, right? Okay, so now Ezekiel 44 and verse 30. And the first of all the first fruit of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblation shall be the priest. And you shall give unto the priest the first of your dough, that he may cause the blessing to rest in thy house. Now, I was telling yesterday how this happened. So when you bring of your first fruit, number one, you're reporting to, you're bringing a report to the Lord that, hey, this ground that I came to, this new land that I came to, this new job that I came to, this new business that I ventured into, I have seen fruit from it. That fruit tells me that there is prospect there. Okay? So you take it and then you go to the house of the priest. And I told you yesterday, that's the, the, the man of God that God has placed over you, that you trust. Because now, this person will be the one to release the blessing of the Lord into your house. Now, your house means that business or whatever that thing is you're doing, to release the blessing of God in it. Okay, so you bring it to him. And then his job is not just to pray. He is to release his faith according to God's word. Now that you have honored the Lord, you have brought a report concerning that thing. It is his job to release the blessing of the Lord. And what does this blessing signify? This blessing means, look, you're going to operate here by God's help. So now you are bringing a report and the priest, the man of God, is releasing the blessing. Now the empowerment of angels or angels have been empowered by the release of that blessing and your righteousness. Because the angels see you, the ground sees you that, oh, what is it doing? What is it doing? Because I know my concept at Balisha. Listen. Everything God has created carries intelligence in it. And they are all watching your actions. You that is operating on the earth. So now when you receive your first harvest from anything, as long as it's connected to this earth, I don't know where else you can get a harvest from. Praise God. The walls, the grounds, they are watching you what you're going to do. So, you take of that, what's he going to do with it? You take it to the priest because you're taking it to the Lord. Of course, you pray over it first. Now, as a child of God filled with the Holy Ghost, Father, I bring a report to you. You see that now? The ground that I went to, the place that I visited, I received. This is the first sign of harvest that I'm receiving. And so, Lord, I bring this report and honor to you. Receive it from me, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then you take it to the priest. I said, I just got a job, and this is the first fruit from that job. You see that now? Now he receives it from you and releases the blessing. 
And that is the channel. This is how God has instructed for it to be done. You see, for example, the Bible says, Honor your father and your mother, that it may be well with you, and that your days may be long on the earth. And no matter how anointed you are, if you despise authority, if you despise your parents, the day Satan will come against you, you will have no defense. Even God will not be able to defend you. Yes, because he cannot change his word because of you. The only thing he would do for you is to instruct you to cry out for mercy. You remember when, when David numbered the children of Israel against God's will, okay? Now he did that and then God showed up. The prophet came and said, look, this is what the Lord has said. Choose from these three punishments, which one you want? And David chose. And then there was, the, the, an angel was released and the angel was destroying the land. And David cried out to the Lord. He said, God, it's me that sinned. What happened? The wisdom of God came. David, yes, sir. Go give God an offering. He was suffering affliction from the Lord. The Lord is giving him counsel concerning that affliction because he cried out to the Lord. Remember what I told you. Every sacrifice and offering is an acknowledgement to the Lord. Even in trouble, you remember to cry out to the Lord. It was that cry that provoked that wisdom. Go give God an offering. Okay. Oh, hey, David, hold on go far to where the plague have not reached okay where go to the threshing floor of arana and then he rushed there immediately arana yes sir i need to offer god a sacrifice yeah, okay what do you need i need bulls i need this i need this. oh sir, take 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 i have them take say how much oh no 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 don't ask me how much you want to give god an offering how can i charge you for it david said no sir no. How much? Because I've got to pay for it. I'm offering God an offering for my guilt, for my sin. And I must pay for it because I can't offer to God what I did not pay for. He says, what cost me nothing. That's what he meant. It's not the size of the sacrifice. It is the ownership of the sacrifice. I will not offer to God that which cost me nothing. I must pay so that it becomes my sacrifice. Didn't David have sheep and goats and things so he would have used? There was no time for that. You see that now? There was no time to start going to his own stable to look for. No, 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 no. He had to go straight where the plague had not been. Now, that's the wisdom. That's what happens when, when, when you don't do what is right. And judgment comes when you cry out to the Lord, a wisdom will be given to you. Now, if you want to play familiarity with that wisdom, it's to your own downfall. Learn these things. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you, you, you take it to the priest and he releases the blessing of God to that thing. And what does that blessing mean? You are going to enjoy the spring of God in this job, you will operate by God's wisdom. Now, angels have been instructed already by God. David said, for he has given his angels charge concerning me. Now, when you now carry out this physical action, remember he says, faith without works is dead. I believe God has given me the job. So this is my work. What is your work? I honor God, here is my first fruit. This work I am doing by bringing my physical first fruit to the man of God is a show of my faith that I believe in God. Then the man of God releases the blessing on you. Guess what? Angels that have already received charge from the Lord consigning you are now empowered to carry out that charge. Because truly you have shown that you're a child of God. And guess what? Someone threatens you in that job, go and sleep. It's not you that fights the battle. Angels are fighting the battle for you. So sometimes you hear people say, God spoke to me about the job and I got it. But after three months, I don't understand what is going on again. Check, did you give your first fruits to the Lord? Did you honor the Lord at that job? 
Now, some of you, you know, you, you, listening to me now, oh, I didn't give God first fruit. What do I do now? Uh -huh. You go back to the Lord in repentance. Yes, go to the Lord in repentance. Father, I just realized I received the first from this job and I didn't give you my first fruit. Whoa, Lord, I'm so sorry for that. It's an error on my side. Lord, I repent before you. Then take an offering that represents the first fruit and still go to your man of God. You don't give the first fruit, just throw it somewhere. You know, some people say, oh, the first fruit, me, I'll give it to my, my earthly parents. They tried for me. No, that's not the purpose of the first Except your earthly parents are your priests. Yeah, because it happens sometimes. Your, your earthly parents can be your man of God over your life. See, just like you had Abraham and Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, Isaac ran to Abraham when he needed a word from the Lord. You see that? The same thing with Jacob. Ran to their fathers when they needed a word from the Lord. So, it happens. But when you just say, me, I will give it to my parents, so they have tried. that's not the purpose of first fruits. No, it's not the purpose of first fruit. It's a responsibility to take care of your parents, but it's not. you are not commanded to give them your first fruits. That is wrong. If you did that, say, oh, ah, my parents will bless me. Of course they will bless you. But are they, do they carry that covenant of blessing over your life? You see that now? Now that's something of note. Like I said, except they are the ones through whom the word of God comes to you. See? So take note of that. So you take it and you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I repent. Now those of you who have not learned this, why am I sharing these things with you? <laughs> A season is coming on the earth next year. A season is coming. Those who know they are God will receive angelic help and assistance like never before. But I'm teaching you these things now that you will be recognized by the angels. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when we tell the truth, we tell it for what it is. It is the truth. If you obey it, it shall be well with you. If you disregard it, it shall be well with you also. You know what I mean by that? The Lord will help you. Don't be caught without a defense. Eh, must I, must I give, must I give? Are the angels still walking? How will the angels work if you don't obey? Precepts and ordinances that God have set. Now, if you don't give God your first fruit, you are actually stealing. So, those who have not given God their first fruit have stolen from the Lord. The, what he said in Malachi, you have robbed me in tithes and offerings. So, if you are holding back the first fruit, you are robbing God. So here is the problem. It's not only that you have not given, it's also that you are stealing. You have stolen. <laughs> and one day, ah, oh, but God is merciful now. He's merciful. But when Satan locates you, I'm not preaching this to bring fear to your hearts. When Satan locates you, there is no defense in your life. You are defenseless. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray the Lord help you. But hear the truth. Hear the truth and align yourself with it. Allow those that want to say anything to say anything. It's none of your business. Listen, if men want to go to hell, they can continue. The way is large. The way is open. Jesus said, narrow is the way that leads to life. And only few will find it. If you choose the wide path, it's wide enough it can contain you. But the narrow path, 
can only contain one person at a time. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. The gate is so narrow that nobody can even hold you to enter. Everybody must enter by himself. That's how narrow it is. And you only enter by truth. That's why what I'm sharing with you. I always don't, you don't have to believe me. But don't stop and say, I don't believe you. Go to the Lord and say, Lord, I have a confession. That preacher, I don't believe him. But now that I don't believe him, can you tell me the truth yourself? Please do that. I encourage you to. Why? My word is not enough. If you only take my word and believe it, one day you will be challenged. And when you are challenged, you will become defenseless because I will not be there. My phone may not work that day. Pastor, please, uh, can I, please, there, there is a, I, I, my phone may be off. I'm giving you the clue. You go to the Lord and say, Lord, this thing this Pastor George is talking about, please, what is it about? I want to hear from you. And be patient with the heart of believing, not the heart of doubting. But whatever you tell me is what I will hold on to. Sit with God. Sit with your Bible. And begin to open. Thank God these days you have electronic Bible. You can search for what? Carry first fruit and search. Read everything he says about first fruit. Now don't read it alone. Sit down and say, Lord, teach me. Teach me. That is the best thing that can happen to you when the Lord teaches you. I can send it to him because he's my teacher. He teaches me things. If he teaches me, not because I have two heads, he will teach you. So you will become grounded in this truth. So that's how you give your first fruit. Take it to the priest. Take it to the man of God. Then he will speak. And let me tell you this. Whenever a challenge comes up, because your first fruit will not stop challenges from coming. But when the challenge comes up, now this is how you do your battles. Father, remember I honored you with this first fruit of this job. I'm telling you the truth. That statement alone, you remember when David stood before Goliath, when he saw Goliath charging, cha challenging the children of Israel, what did he say? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Now that statement alone turned the battle. This guy is uncircumcised. Do you know what it is for us to be circumcised? Do you know the risk our father took to get himself circumcised and everybody? Do you know the risk we all took to get circumcised? Eight days of age. Now, that just brought God into the battle. Say, look, it's enough. Hey, angels, assist that boy. You do battles with it. Because don't say, oh, me, I've given God my friend. Nobody can challenge. You will be challenged. Satan will send a challenge against you. But when that challenge comes, don't, don't run helter-skelter. Go into your closet. Father, remember the day I honored you with the first fruit concerning this job. And now this job is about to be taken away from me. Lord, I leave this matter to you to defend your inheritance in this job. Go and sleep. Let that fellow wake up and say he wants to throw you out. It is not you he will contend with. The angels that have been given charge, they are the ones that will rise up to your defense. I'm telling you, they are the ones. Now, if you ignorantly start fighting with men, you cannot, hey, if you write, I will write. If you write, I will write. And forget that, hey, I have honored the Lord my God with the first fruit of this business. With the first fruit. This is how God's children are to rise in this coming season. I'm giving you the wisdom, the trick for the season ahead. I have honored the Lord. Kaliba Skila Bahaya. Father, I have honored you. Even the ground knows that I have honored you. 
the ground will hear your voice. I'm telling you, there is lack everywhere. The ground, your own ground, will bring a harvest for you. This is why we give God the first fruits. It is His portion. And you must honor Him with it. Praise God. My time is up. I pray for you. That the Lord will minister grace and truth in your heart. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.